Hi guys, this is Duncan from dunksblog.com and today I'm taking a quick look at Elementary OS Luna. This is a Linux distribution designed to be beautiful, simple and functional. The Elementary team in the Linux community is well regarded for their themes so it makes sense that they'd do something like this. Uh, this is an Ubuntu derivative and takes design elements from OS X. And just to confirm that, if I go to the system settings, you'll see it looks pretty familiar. I'm running this inside VirtualBox, so it's gonna be a little bit slower than you'd have on your actual system. Uh, but having the OS X elements is not necessarily a bad thing. OS X is regarded for their ease of use, uh, Linux is not regarded for its ease of use, so marrying the two together would kind of make sense, especially if you want to show this to someone, or you're introducing someone to Linux, or you're just looking for something to do stuff for everyday purposes and not delve really deep into how the operating system works. So you'll see we have a nice little uh, scroll area on the right hand side. Uh, it's quite interesting. You can use obviously the scroll wheel, but we have that extra bit there too. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm not going to delve into these. I'm going to actually go into the applications that are provided at the bottom. So we have the Midori browser. We have Geary Mail. We have Empathy, which is an instant messenger. Calendar, music, movie player, Shotwell, which is for photos. And we have the system settings and we have software center. Again, this is a little bit laggy because I'm using a screen recorder and a virtual machine. So let's just dive into calendar. And this is something that's been built by the team. So this isn't the default calendars provided inside Ubuntu. It's nicely designed, again, taking those elements from uh, the Mac operating system. But one thing I did notice is on the right hand side, you'll see the little gear and this has the menu. This isn't like this in all of the apps. Uh, in some of them, you may see it say file, edit, view, as you would normally do over in this area here, instead of the top bar, which is to be expected, this top bar won't be used for that. Uh, and there's some that just don't have any settings at all where you would expect settings to be. Another thing is it's really nice to have this full screen application stuff. Love that. Again, taking those elements from another operating system, but there's no way to minimize it. So if I were to minimize it, if I right click on the icon, all I have is maximize and close all. There's no minimize button. Now I'm talking about this operating system from a default standpoint. I understand you can tack things onto this or modify it, but I'm just talking just from a default perspective. I believe there's a way that you can add minimize and maximize icons using commands or adding an extra piece of software. But as standard for someone who just wants to plonk this on a laptop, it's not provided there. But it's nice to have a nice simple uh, application area. As you can see, this looks very iTunes-esque. We've got some settings along the bottom this time and uh, we do have the gear there. But if I was to go to, for example, Shotwell, which is designed for photos, you'll see file manipulation can be done inside this file edit view photos, which you'd think would be by default on the others too. So one other thing that may interest people is that there is no desktop icons and there's no way to get them on here unless you use probably some hacky method. Uh, some people argue that this is a good thing, that you don't have to worry about it. I would argue that it's not, it's, it's an okay thing if you can deal with all your applications being in this area here, which is quite nice to look at. We've got pages very similar to iOS or things like that. Uh, but for example, if you're putting a CD in and you want quick access to it, you don't really want to have to keep going to the files area to see it because at the moment I have my additions that's been inserted, but nothing came up to alert me that it had been inserted. So I had to go to the files area to take a look at it. So no desktop icons. I don't know how you guys would feel about using a computer with no desktop icons. Feel free to comment. But on the whole, this is a joy to use. I really like it. Um, the login screen, which obviously you're not gonna see that much, looks beautiful. Uh, the selection of desktop wallpapers, which is something weird to talk about in an OS, uh, they're all beautiful too. Uh, the amount of settings we have is nice. The fact that everything is understandable instead of running through a bunch of stuff that people aren't gonna understand unless they're truly into Linux. This is something, like I said, that you could just give to someone or if you just want to delve into it or you want to try some Linux apps or anything like that, then this is for you. This is Elementary OS Luna and it's a quick look and I will see you guys in the next video.